My first year as a graphic designer was a big mess. I found it so hard to design in the presence of my clients or even anyone that sits close to me when designing. And anytime I try doing that, it seems the whole world is on me. One thing was that I will never satisfy my clients once I feel that way. Whenever my client sits next to me when I'm designing, I do calculate my steps so I won't make them feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe that was because I felt my clients do not trust my skills yet since I was rated a beginner. And then I discovered what was happening to me was lack of confidence. Tips and Tricks Friday Hi everyone, my name is Dennis, helping you build your graphic design skills. I'm going to tell you how to be a more confident graphic designer so you won't lose clients, miss deadlines or make bad designs. This video forms one of my graphic designers Q&A series so if you struggle with self-confidence when designing, stick around. To be a more confident graphic designer, there are a few things you need to do. 1. Build your design skills. Before you present yourself to top clients for a design project to be done, ensure your skills are leveled up. Once you are sure of your skills, you will never be afraid to do anything. It goes this way. Just like anyone who started driving yesterday will be afraid to drive a trailer. That's the same feeling you have when you lack the skills to tackle any design project. Once you trust your skills, your clients do same. Once you know your worth, your clients know same. So level up your skills. If this video makes sense to you, leave a like on this video and if this is your first time here, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video like this. Two believe in yourself once your skills are super you tend to believe in yourself you should always operate with i can do mindset believe you can face any challenge any design project throws at you believe you can put a smile on your client's face when designing for them all this boils down to you trusting the skills you acquired when you believe in yourself you will be comfortable working with any client and then your client will see you as one who gets along with people easily and you know people love that three stop carrying about what people think there are many ways to trick your mind not to fall into this trap if your client sits next to you when designing and then in the process of the design they begin to recommend colors for the design or they begin to make objections to what you are trying to do honestly whatsoever your client has to say was done at the briefing stage so you simply let them know you are not done yet and once they are done they can now make their necessary comments and if you allow this Honestly, you will lose self-esteem and you won't even know what to do next. Do away with feelings like, will my clients be okay with what I'm doing or should I try something else? All this will bring you down. Just don't care of what they think and bring your idea to life, that's all. 4. Do away with negative friends and colleagues. Negative friends and colleagues will certainly turn you to a negative person. This may sound harsh, but it needs to be done. Anyone that lowers your self-esteem is not helping you at all. Surround yourself with designers that will help you stay positive at all times. 5. Use body language. The way you present yourself to people is very crucial to how they perceive you. So keep a good posture and always stay positive as mentioned before. Make sure you are using eye contact at all times. People who are afraid to make eye contact are uncomfortable with yourself so don't give off the illusion. Lastly but not the least always take a deep breath and say i can do it if you have other tips i did not mention in this video on how to build your self-confidence you can let me know down in the comments and i'll be so grateful thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video i'll see you next time